Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we're checking out yet another Chrome box today. This one is the Acer CXI, and uh, from a hardware standpoint, this is pretty much the same as all the other Chrome boxes we've looked at from HP and Asus. It's got the Intel Celeron 2957U, uh, that pretty powerful Haswell-based Celeron at 1.4 gigahertz, 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigabytes of storage, uh, the dual display ports, so you have a display port adapter here as well as HDMI. I am pretty sure these things can drive a 4K display, uh, so you do get a little bit more juice out of this than you might out of a Chromebook, which is running slower Intel hardware than this is. These are actually pretty powerful little devices. Uh, you've got a headphone microphone jack here, one of those Kensington locks over here, uh, four USB ports. You've got two on the back and two on the front. You also have a memory card slot in the front here as well. And this is falling apart a little bit, mainly because I took it apart. I'm going to explain this in a minute. Uh, so don't worry, yours is not going to come looking like this one might. Uh, and you also have gigabit Ethernet and, of course, the uh, power adapter. Now, these are a little bit harder to crack into uh, than the, uh, the offerings from HP and Asus. Now, if you want to upgrade the RAM, which you can do on these, uh, you have to take them apart. And it was a little hard to get the case off of it. I've left it off because I'm going to be doing a little special on how to get Windows and XBMC loaded onto a uh, Chrome box, a little live stream, which I'll uh, schedule very soon. So I'm kind of leaving the screws off of it for now, but it was really hard to get into it. And the other thing that I noticed about it is that if you want to get at the right protect screw, uh, you have to take out the heat sink and then uh, reapply the thermal paste. So this is really not an easy device to get at uh, to make some changes to. And uh, the right protect screw is very important for loading other operating systems like XBMC and uh, Windows because uh, they really lock these things down to prevent people from accidentally erasing them or uh, you know, compromising the security. So you have to actually take them apart, take out that right protect screw, and then you can start to do some things with it. So it is a little bit more work uh, than you might have on the HP or the Asus. The good news is, though, thanks to a YouTube viewer, Tom Prokes, uh, when he took his apart, there are two RAM slots. One of them is still available, so you could uh, just go out and buy another RAM module and put it in there, but it's really buried in there. You have to take the entire thing apart and then uh, unscrew the motherboard and get at it from the bottom. So it's actually kind of installed upside down. You've got to pull the whole thing apart. It's a lot of work, and I think it's a little bit easier uh, to work on the Asus and the HP devices. But enough about that. Let's boot it up and see how it performs as compared to the other ones. All right, so we're ready to boot this thing up, and I've got my Chrome box all plugged in and already configured. I'm going to hit the power button, and uh, let's see what happens. There it goes, and we are loaded. So really fast. That's one of the nice things about these uh, Haswell-based Chrome boxes is that they really come up very quickly, uh, and even things like web browsing and other things are really, really fast. So let's take a look at that. All right, so we'll start off just taking a look at the Octane test here from Google, which is a great way to measure uh, its browsing prowess. And you'll see that we've got a score of 11,987 on this test that I just ran. This is a lot faster than uh, some of the other Celeron-based Chromebooks that we've looked at that are running the slower Celeron processors. So there is an Acer C720, which is my favorite, that has the same chip on board that does run about what this Chrome box runs at. Uh, but really, you're not going to see this kind of performance out of most of the Chromebooks you're going to buy right now for around the $200 price range. So a lot faster. You've got the benefit of being able to be plugged into regular power, uh, so you're able to get more performance. So if we go to like a website like uh, CNN or something like we usually do, uh, you'll see that things really kind of spring up on the screen a lot faster. Uh, the screen renders very nicely, and uh, you'll have a pretty nice browsing experience on this, uh, especially if you're uh, you know, going to intensive sites. We'll hop over here to YouTube real quick onto my uh, YouTube channel, maybe click on a video that we posted the other day, and you can see, again, just how quickly things pop up and are uh, able to operate. So uh, you do get a little bit more horsepower out of this, and that is an important thing if you are a heavy-duty web browser and you really want something quick and responsive. As a desktop computer, it works very well. Uh, and some of those tests that we've done with the uh, HP Chromebox where we put Windows on it, you'll see it runs Windows very well, too, when you kind of do a little bit of that uh, software and slight bit of hardware hacking to get things up and running on it. So uh, pretty much, again, on par with all the other Chromeboxes we've looked at. A little bit harder to get into, but it is a good value in the sense that you do get uh, the keyboard and mouse with it for about $150, which is a uh, really good price. So I think if you're looking just to run Chrome OS, uh, this is a good value Chrome box. If you're looking to do a little bit more, I think you're going to have an easier time working on uh, some of the other Chrome boxes out there. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.